Ok, bueno, gracias a todos por participar. Bienvenidos a esta primera sesión de orientación para el próximo eh, fall semester en la Universidad Adolfo Ibáñez. Un poco sobre nosotros, about our staff. We're just um, a six people team, It's just uh, a small team, but you can see who we are and who are um, in charge of every area. As I said at the beginning, I'm the incoming coordinator, so you already have my email, so you can contact me by email or uh, by WhatsApp, but we're going to be in constant communication during the semester. La Universidad Adolfo Ibáñez comenzó o se creó en 1953 eh, as a business school, started as a business school. And along the years, you can see it was uh, transforming into the university that it is today. We have eight faculties and schools. So you will be able to take, if you're planning to take courses with local students, you're going to be able to take courses uh, any of those um, faculties except uh, of the government uh, school because that's only for postgraduate courses. Entonces, como ustedes pueden ver, la universidad comenzó en 1953 y a lo largo de los años se convirtió en lo que es hoy día una escuela, una universidad con ocho escuelas y facultades de las cuales ustedes podrán eh, tomar cursos si planean tomar cursos con locales. We have two campus, one in Santiago, another in Viña del Mar. The one in Santiago is really big in comparison to the one in Viña del Mar, so you can just see some numbers there. Both are uh, really different. One is located in the mountains, in the Andes, and the other one is up on a hill with an amazing view of the ocean. Today it's um, sunny, but it's really cold because we are um, just about to start our winter. So sometimes you don't have a, a good view of the ocean, but when it's sunny, it's amazing. And of course, in Santiago, when, it's, uh, when there's snow, it's amazing, an amazing view uh, at the campus. So you already choose uh, one of those, this campus, uh, but just so you know, you're still on time to change to the other one, if you want. Yeah, we can talk about that later. Ya, si tenemos una increíble vista en cualquiera de los dos campus, ustedes ya eligieron cuál de los dos, en cuál de los dos campus van a estudiar, pero de todas maneras están a tiempo de cambiarse al otro campus, si es que fuera necesario. Um, I already informed you about this. Uh, probably you already decide to apply the, for the visa or to use the permiso transitorio. So I'm just gonna um, go ahead and we can talk about this later, but I'm interested uh, to know what did you decide. So I'm gonna ask you about this later and I will answer your questions. Yeah, si ya decidieron el permiso o eh, la visa, probablemente eso ya está listo, pero podemos conversar al final de esta sesión. Desde el 9 de mayo no hay requisitos relacionados con el COVID, por ejemplo, para entrar a Chile. Solamente necesitas tener la documentación eh, básica, ¿cierto? Para viajar a otro país. Nada específico en relación a eh, PCRs o certificates. Ya, yeah, es mucho más fácil. Of course, you uh, later will be able to check those uh, links that are shown here, um, but that's a link to a website where you can check uh, if there are news in regards to this. But at the moment, there are not uh, specific requirements to enter Chile, just the basic requirements to travel to a different country. As you know, we don't offer uh, housing options because our universities in Chile doesn't offer this uh, service. So most of you already rented a, a room or an apartment, but in case you're still looking for uh, places, we have 
uh, living in Santiago Exchange, of course, in Santiago, um, as a, a housing companies. And we also have Unihome in Viña del Mar in Valparaíso and Nexo Chile. This is a house, um, host family services. So I know some of you are part of programs that uh, already have these uh, services through Nexo Chile, but in case you would like to live with a host family, you can contact Nexo Chile. Yeah, así que probablemente la mayoría de ustedes ya tiene el housing eh, o un lugar donde vivir, pero tenemos estas opciones en caso de que alguien necesite eh, encontrar alguna agencia o algún servicio de alojamiento o en el caso de que quieran vivir con una familia anfitriona. ¿Qué hacer para tener una gran experiencia en la UAI? Primero que todo, ser parte de nuestras actividades. Vamos a tener el Welcome Day y también vamos a tener una Farewell Activity eh, en el campus. Tenemos una gran biblioteca, eh, tal vez no tan grande en comparación a sus propias universidades, pero para los estándares de Chile es una gran, universidad, una gran eh, librería, eh, biblioteca en, nuestra, eh, en nuestros campus, en ambos campus. Entonces, tiene mucho material al cual pueden acceder ahí. Tenemos gimnasio también, en el cual ustedes pueden usar para ejercitarse. Pueden pasar tiempo, eh, conocer más gente, disfrutando en nuestra cafetería, en el eh, casino, que es el lugar para, para comer. Eh, tenemos talleres, como Extra Academic Workshops, a los que pueden acceder también. Esta información se entrega luego de que ha comenzado el semestre. Esto es muy importante, it's really important to be an ambassador of your country and university, muy, muy, muy importante que puedan llegar a la universidad siendo embajadores de su universidad y de sus países y participar en nuestras actividades internacionales en el campus. También pueden ser parte del, eh, el, de los equipos deportivos de la universidad, so if you play Uh, soccer, uh, basketball, you can try for the sport teams and you can be part of the team and, and uh, play against other universities and in uh, championships and all that. Um, la universidad ofrece muchas actividades. There's a lot of student life on campus. So there are a lot of activities. And the idea is that you can be part of that. Así que de cualquier actividad que hay en el campus, tienen que participar, tienen que aprovechar todas las actividades que hay para todos los estudiantes, ¿ya? porque ustedes van a ser parte de toda la comunidad UAI. También pueden eh, ser parte de student uh, organizations, you can be part of that. That information will be um, shared with you after the semester start, but there are a lot of organizations I'm going to show you later. Y también eh, ustedes van a contar con el apoyo de ESA en Santiago y EST en Viña del Mar. Those are uh, two also uh, student organizations that work close with the international office and they accompany international students along the semester. They are some of our buddies and some international students from last year. So you have a lot of fun, uh, a lot of friends, and they will organize a lot of activities during the, the semester. So you will start to get in contact with them soon. They will also create a WhatsApp group so you can start communication with them and they will be uh, planning um, the first activities for you once you uh, arrive here in Chile. So ESA and EST, As you can see, um, they work along uh, with us. Estas son algunas de las organizaciones en las que ustedes podrían participar, las que podrían ser parte. Luego pueden chequear los links y revisar cuáles son las alternativas que hay um, permanentemente, for all students. So you can be part of this. You can check the links and then 
uh, you uh, can have an idea of which organizations you would like to uh, to know and maybe be part of them. Sports is really important here at the university. Local students need to have uh, eight semesters of sports in order to graduate. Ya, para los estudiantes locales, el, el deporte es obligatorio. Ya, deben cumplir ocho semestres para poder graduarse. Eh, por lo tanto, hay mucha vida deportiva en el campus. That's why you can also join the teams, as I mentioned before. It's really important. Sport is really important for the university and for uh, local students. Here are some of the academic workshops I was mentioned. So uh, this will be offered probably during the uh, month of August, and then you can sign up for those. Um, and they meet once a week during the whole semester. There's also an English program because English is also mandatory for local students and you can be part of this, uh, working along with the professors and you can also participate during um, hangout sessions to help in pronunciation and other um, activities with local students. Yes, yes, I was mentioned that, Sasha. I'm going to share the, this document later so you can check the links and, and I will also share this uh, session. La universidad también ofrece estas otras cuatro áreas de apoyo. So the university offers also these four areas of uh, support for students. DAE, Dirección de Asuntos Estudiantiles, that the Students Affairs Office. CADE, that's a um, Centro de Asesoramiento y Desarrollo Estudiantil. This is mainly counseling. Um, there's a psychologist there that helps students in anything they may need. If you're experiencing um, homesick or cultural shock, you can also get a um, counseling session with the psychologist. And also if you're, I don't know, failing in one of your classes or you're dealing with something academic and need support, you can also talk to her. Yeah, entonces en cuanto al counseling del CADE, puede ser si es que necesitas apoyo psicológico porque estás eh, sintiendo alguna etapa de choque cultural o alguna situación personal, te está costando adaptarte a Chile, eh, puedes hablar con ella y también si es que necesitas apoyo en el sentido académico, ya si estás, eh, eh, te está yendo mal, estás teniendo malas calificaciones en una clase, también puedes contar con el apoyo de la psicóloga. Y por otro lado tenemos eh, la enfermería, ya yeah, uh, first aid services. There's a small room on campus. Yeah, it's not a big enfermería. Yeah, yeah, but they offer uh, first aid services. Unfortunately, we have had two accidents on campus this semester, but they are going to be um, the first one to come and to support uh, our students. For us, it's really important to know if you have, of course, we understand uh, all the privacy um, um, policies, but it's important for us to know if you have any kind of medical situation, a disease or something. We will keep that information in private, but for us, it's really important to know if there's a chance that you may have an accident or an important medical situation on campus or while you are here in Chile. Yeah, so I'm gonna um, talk about this uh, or I'm gonna send you an email actually about this uh, later, but it's really important that you can trust us with that information. Um, como decía, hemos tenido dos accidentes en el campus este semestre, ya, y la enfermera ha sido la primera en acercarse y prestar apoyo a los estudiantes. Eh, pero quiero insistir en que, aunque entendemos las políticas de privacidad de datos, es muy importante para nosotros que ustedes puedan compartirnos si tienen alguna enfermedad, alguna condición médica importante, que sea relevante informar en caso de que puedan sufrir un accidente o algún malestar debido a esa situación, ¿ya? para estar atentos. 
Entonces voy a enviarles un email acerca de eso para solicitar que puedan compartirnos la información que, que ustedes puedan. Y por último, tenemos también el apoyo académico en el caso de que necesiten extra apoyo por una condición eh, tal vez de mucha dificultad en una clase en español o porque el contenido es muy eh, complejo, también pueden solicitar apoyo académico. ¿okay? And last, this uh, academic support offers help in anything related to academics if you are dealing with uh, bad grades and you need extra help and you need something, um, you need to know what else to do. Of course, if you need help, don't wait until the last week of the semester. You need to let us know in advance. Okay, so we, in that way, we can have enough time to help you and to do something. But you will have this academic support if you need it. También la universidad les ofrece el servicio de buses de acercamiento. Ya tenemos shuttle buses, are, uh, son gratis y tienen recorridos por distintas partes de la ciudad. Ya luego también van a poder chequear los links pero no hay transporte público hacia el campus, ni en Santiago ni en Viña del Mar, ¿ya? Por eso tenemos shuttle buses, ¿ya? No hay, there's no uh, public transportation to any of those campuses. So that's why we offer this shuttle bus, uh, shuttle buses, so you can check later uh, on our website the schedules and where the bus stops are, so you can uh, know that in advance. For uh, Welcome Day, we'll have special buses for you. You don't need to take these shuttle buses on, uh, on a specific time and, or, or you don't need to find out where you can uh, wait for the bus. You, we will give you specific information for Welcome Day. Okay, so there's going to be just uh, one time, I mean, one uh, bus stop at the same time for everyone to take that bus on that day. Bueno, and to sum up, eh, la universidad ofrece eh, cafeterías, computer labs, capilla, eh, primeros auxilios o servicios primarios de salud, gimnasios, eh, biblioteca, eh, áreas de descanso o para compartir o estar más relajado, eh, los buses de acercamiento y salas de estudio. This is all the services and facilities available for you on campus. You will get to know all the campus uh, or most of the campus um, during Welcome Day. You will have a tour around the, the campus, so you will get to see all these um, services I'm, I'm mentioning here. Now I'm going to check um, The academic calendar, we're going to have another session on July 5th to talk about, uh, about academics. I'm going to share the academic offer before, but on that day, I will show you how to enroll courses, when that will be, and anything that you may know about academics, our um, uh, university platforms and all that. Uh, well, now you can see the enrollment of courses is going to be on July 20 and 21. And welcome day, it's going to be the 26th in Santiago, the 27th in Viña del Mar, and classes will begin on July uh, 31st. Ya, aquí pueden ver entonces el calendario académico. Vamos a tener otra sesión de orientación el 5 de julio para hablar específicamente de todos los aspectos académicos. Eh, cómo registrar los cursos, eh, cuáles son nuestras plataformas en la universidad, todo lo necesario para prepararse para la, eh, comenzar el semestre y todo lo relacionado con lo académico. Y, eh, el registro de cursos va a ser el día, los días 20 y 21 de julio y vamos a tener nuestra bienvenida en Santiago el 26, en Viña del Mar el 27 y las clases comienzan para todos el 31 de julio. Then we will have activities during the semester. The dates may change, but I hope there are not going to be many changes. Yeah, the UAE day is our anniversary, so it's going to be on October 4th. And then during October is one of our international month, 
because we are promoting um, exchange experiences for local students. So you're gonna be an important part of that. So that's why we wanna to um, motivate you to be an ambassador of your university and your country so you can talk to local students and help them to um, learn about uh, what your country or your university have to offer so they can decide to go abroad and maybe that way it will be easier for them to decide where to go. That's, that's one of the main focus on those activities, ¿ya? Entonces, en octubre vamos a tener el Día de la Universidad, el 4 de octubre, y luego tenemos también eh, las ferias internacionales porque octubre es nuestro mes del intercambio. Entonces, durante ese tiempo vamos a promover que los estudiantes chilenos puedan salir de intercambio y por eso es importante que ustedes puedan ser embajadores de sus universidades y de sus países y puedan motivar a los chilenos a ir de intercambio, ya que ustedes puedan ayudar con eso. We will also uh, have uh, a break, semana de pausa, from October 9 to October 13. So that's a week off for you to travel. Try to travel during that week and not miss classes, okay? This is really important. Ya, entonces, aprovechen de viajar si quieren en la semana de pausa entre el 9 y el 13 de octubre y traten de no viajar tanto para no perder clases, o sea, en otros momentos del semestre. Traten de viajar cuando puedan perder la menor cantidad de clases. Y luego, ya near the end of the, of the semester, we're going to have uh, the period of um, academic service and satisfaction survey. So, this is really important. We will need that in order to issue the transcripts at the end of the semester. Yeah, it's really important. Uh, the academic service are mandatory, so you have to do that for every class you're going to take. And then we will send you a different link for uh, our program uh, satisfaction survey. Then we'll have a farewell activity here on campus by the middle of November. Classes will end on the 24th of November, and then the exam period will start from November 27th to December 13th. We cannot tell the dates of the exams in advance, as this is um, informed by the undergraduate department. So this will be announced probably by the end of October, okay? So we cannot tell when the exams are going to be. And not necessarily they're going to be at the same time and day of the class. Okay, so uh, keep your mind open to that because sometimes uh, you may have an exam on Friday and maybe you don't have classes on Friday. Okay, entonces vamos a tener um, los surveys de académico y de satisfacción general del programa eh, cerca de eh, en la mitad de noviembre luego también nuestra actividad de despedida en la mitad de noviembre aquí en el campus las clases van a terminar el 24 de noviembre y el periodo de exámenes con, eh, comienza después de eso eh, desde el 27 de noviembre al 13 de diciembre las fechas de los exámenes no las podemos anunciar con anticipación porque lo determina la, el departamento de pregrado y eso se anuncia generalmente con un mes de anticipación, lo que significa que tendremos esa información probablemente cerca del finales de octubre. Ya Las fechas y días de exámenes no necesariamente son iguales a las fechas o a los días en que tienes clase. ¿Okay? Así que... La idea es mantener la mente abierta porque es probable que puedas tener un examen un día viernes, aunque no tengas clases los viernes. Okay? So the official end of the semester is December 14, after the final day of the period of exams. And transcript uh, will be sent uh, from December 15 until January 5th. That's our deadline, actually, January 5th. Okay, but it will depend on how long it takes to the professors to upload uh, the final grades. Okay. And this is just uh, a website that you can check to have an idea. 
on how much does it cost to live in Chile. Of course, prices are high in every country, uh, but um, Chile is a good and I would say still uh, not that expensive country, okay? And of course, you can always save money. Um, if you're living with a group of friends, it's gonna be easier to save money because you can buy uh, food for, for the apartment and you can cook. Not necessarily you need to go and um, go out to, to eat. So there are good ways to, to save money, okay? But you can check on this website to have an idea of how much does it cost uh, to live in Chile. Entonces pueden chequear en este sitio web eh, algunos precios que les van a ayudar a tener una idea de cuánto cuesta eh, o qué tan caro puede ser vivir en Chile. Eh, Chile dentro de todo es un país que no tan caro en comparación a otros, pero obviamente los precios están altos en gran parte del, del mundo. Pero esto les puede ayudar a tener una idea y, por supuesto, si es que van a vivir eh, con otros amigos o con otros eh, extranjeros, pueden compartir eh, gastos al comprar comida en conjunto, eh, pueden ahorrar dinero también cocinando siempre en casa, no saliendo tanto a, a comer afuera. Hay distintas maneras de, de ahorrar dinero, ¿ya? pero pueden chequear este sitio web para tener eh, más referencia. Pueden seguirnos en Instagram, Facebook. Actually, it's like, I, I don't know who else is uh, Facebook anymore, but we still have our Facebook account. But you can follow us on uh, Instagram. If you haven't done it yet, you can take a look of our activities and the things that we are doing. And you can also check our website for more information. We're still updating a few um, uh, details there, but it's pretty accurate yeah. by now, okay? So, pueden chequear nuestras, eh, nuestras eh, redes sociales. Facebook prácticamente está olvidado, pero Instagram muy activo, así que pueden ver lo que estamos haciendo, las actividades que hemos tenido. Y en nuestro sitio web también pueden revisar, está bastante actualizado. Hay algunas actualizaciones pendientes, pero hay bastante información ahí. ¿Ya? Y esta foto, vamos a tomar una foto similar cuando ustedes lleguen, so we're going to take a picture like this, once you arrive, so hope you are getting excited. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop and I'm going to turn my camera on. You can turn, turn it on if you want. I'm going to check the chat. Um, and now we will have time to answer your questions and to talk a little bit about anything you may know. So I'm gonna start from here. Eh, Jamie, sí, los equipos deportivos están en las dos sedes. Um, sport teams are available in both uh, campuses, but probably there may be changes, but the main sports are available in both campuses. Uh, are the international student teams for international students in Chile? So outside or as well? No, just for UAE students, uh, but you can play against other universities. But it's just for, uh, it's open for international students, but only at UAE. Well, you can check later um, because there's a link there in the slide. So you can have an idea of uh, what kind of sports are available. Um, to the subject in English. Sí, todos los, um, I heard that last year, it seems to finish before exams. Yeah, okay, this is uh, Joshua. Oh, you are from Australia. So I think it's really late for you. So I really appreciate that you are here. Uh, the subject in English have final exams, but sometimes the exams are considered within the period of classes, not in the period of exams, but all the classes have exams, but sometimes the professors decide that the exam is gonna be a paper or an oral test, uh, that will depend on the professor, but all the classes will have exams. 
Spanish language courses are only available in Viña. Yes. The same with the courses in English. Okay. Our main offer of courses in English, the one that we prepare for international students, are available in Viña del Mar. In Santiago, we are working with the schools, as I mentioned at the beginning, to have a few courses in English, but those are not courses especially designed for international students. But I'm going to give you more information about this when I talk about academics and when I share the, the academic offer next week. It's a problem if we miss the orientation session. On July 5th, no, no, it's not a problem, but of course you will need to check the presentation and the session, the recording of the session, because there I'm gonna show you how to enroll courses, okay? Uh, we will not have enough time until the date of enrollment, but the idea is you, you can check the, um, um, at least the presentation, so you can know uh, how to enroll courses, because you're gonna have to do it on your own. Is there a skiing team? No, I'm sorry. There's no skiing team. Um, no, in Santiago either. Yeah. Teniendo en cuenta las fechas, aproximadamente tendríamos que estar en Chile para el 26 de julio. Sí, la idea es que tú, eh, no, no recuerdo si vas a estudiar en Santiago o en Viña del Mar, pero me imagino que puede ser en Santiago. Eh, la, idea, la idea es que todos participen el día de bienvenida, ¿ya? Así que si vas a llegar, eh, la idea es que puedas llegar tal vez el 25 de julio para estar el 26 y luego tengas unos pocos días para eh, conocer el sector donde vas a vivir y acostumbrarte un poco a... a or hacer tu rutina previo al inicio del semestre. Yeah, but the idea is that, I mean, at least there's a, uh, an important reason don't miss the welcome day, okay? Because we're gonna show you the university, you're gonna get to uh, meet a lot of people during that, that day, so try to not miss it unless, of course, you cannot because of an important uh, reason, okay? Uh, yeah, okay. The 90 day, days uh, period for staying in the country is renewable. Yes. You can renew it by re-entering the country. So if you're planning to travel outside of Chile during the semester, you, the, the permiso will be renewed automatically once you return. If you're not planning to travel out of Chile within the first 90 days, you will have to ask for an extension and that you can do it online. Probably they will ask you to upload any kind of document or something saying why you need to stay longer and you will have to pay uh, $100. So if you're planning to travel, of course, this is gonna be done uh, automatically. Are there tennis courts? No, unfortunately, no, we don't have tennis. Um, there are a few tennis courts uh, outside of the university, but of course you will have to pay to use them, but we don't have a tennis uh, team at the university, that we don't have it. El horario, ¿cuándo lo tendremos? Eh, la próxima semana, es lo que decía al principio, estamos todavía definiendo la oferta académica, por lo tanto no tenemos claro aún Eh, cuáles son los cursos y sus horarios, pero esperamos que eso pueda estar disponible la próxima semana. Okay? The schedule, I hope it's going to be available so soon, so I can send it and share it with you on, on Monday. Is it easy to find an apartment after arrival in Chile, or will you recommend renting something before we get there? I know some of you... Um, have been in contact because someone needed a roommate and some other students were looking for roommates. So I don't know if you are in the WhatsApp group, um, but I would recommend to try to rent before, but make sure that you're contacting um, someone like legal, you know, so you can actually, I'm gonna be renting the, the room. Um, I know there's a realtor, so some of you, I think, have contacted him. So uh, let me know later if you have that information. 
uh, or if you need to to contact someone in regards of, of this, but I will recommend to rent before uh, coming to Chile. Julius, is it legal to study in Chile without a visa? Yes and no, <laughs> because as I was mentioned, uh, the law changed last year and the law allows people to come to Chile to study. But the thing is that this is allowed for 90 days. Of course, the semester will last more than that. But as you have the opportunity to renew this permit, so for uh, an extra 90 days period, you could actually be able to study for one semester, okay? So it's legal, but on the other side, we know you're gonna be studying here for more than 90 days. But so you're gonna be traveling probably, uh, that will be considered to a new uh, period of stay, of legal stay in Chile, okay? Um, I will recommend, I mean, if you're using the permiso to enter Chile, I would just, show up at the airport and show my documents and papers. And if they ask, you may say that you're gonna be studying, but if they don't ask, I mean, you'll be just like a tourist, okay? It's, unfortunately, there's no much information or uh, contact information to ask for more specific details. So it will depend on the police officer if they are, if they are um, trying to find out more or why are you coming or what are you gonna be doing. So I would recommend to just show the documents and wait until what they say, and then you can decide how much information you're gonna give them, okay? I really apologize because these have been really complicated because there's no more information and there's no one to, to ask to give us accurate and official information. So the only thing that we know is that you can apply for the visa. I know some students already have received their visa in a two months period. So hopefully if you apply for the visa, uh, I hope, really hope that you can get it on time. Um, but if not, I mean, it's, it says that you can come to study and without needing the visa. And as I, as I was saying before, most of the students will be traveling out of the country, so it will renew automatically. So it shouldn't be a problem, okay? Um, in the, the visa slide, there's a link. So you will be able to check that now. Also, fortunately, it's available in English because until a few months ago, the information was only available in Spanish. So now you can have it in English and you can have that, that as a proof um, just in case when, you, um, when you're when you entering to Chile, you can just use that to, to prove that you uh, can come to study with um, without the visa. Now, if you're planning to stay for a year, the recommendation will be to, to get the visa, okay? Because of course there's a long uh, stay. And of course it's more than just 90 days and you will know that in advance. So in that case, the visa will be required. Libre, la inscripción de cursos es lo mismo que hacer la matrícula. La matrícula la hacemos en nuestra universidad. No, eh, no sé a qué te refieres en particular con la matrícula. Eh, para nosotros la matrícula es cuando entras por primera vez a una, a una universidad. ¿Ya? Eh, no es algo que tengas que pagar mensualmente. Eh, si te refieres a un pago mensual, eso sí se ve con tu universidad. A nosotros no tienes que pagarnos nada, ¿ya? Si no eres, eh, o sea, si por la inscripción de cursos no, no nos tienes que pagar directamente, ¿ok? Eso lo ves a través de la universidad. La inscripción de cursos es el momento en que tú entras en la plataforma y seleccionas los cursos que vas a, a tomar el próximo semestre. Okay, the uh, course enrollment. I don't know if uh, what a matricula will mean in in other other countries, but for us, enrollment of courses is the moment where you log in with your UI credentials that are going to be shared um, later in a few weeks. Um, you log in with that uh, credentials, and then you select the classes you want to take. 
And when when that's done, that's the enrollment of course, and that's it. Is there an athletics team at the Santiago campus? I'm not sure, but you can you can check on the uh, when I share the, the presentation. You can check uh, there at the link all the team. And probably you will get more information when you're here, okay? Because not all the information is always uh, posted or published, okay? Uh, so I think it's going to be easier to, for you to find out once you're already here. When will hard to pay the semester fees when we come as a free movers? Uh, after the semester starts, okay? So we will give you information uh, about that later because it will depend on the amount of courses you're going to be taking. Jonathan, I heard that if we don't have a ticket out of Chile, it can be complicated to get a tourist visa. Can we actually get a tourist visa without having to prove we have a ticket out? Uh, well, you know, it depends on, well, most of you don't need to apply for a tourist visa. You just need to show up at the airport and saying that you're coming here to Chile, you can say to travel or to study. Uh, but in that case, if you don't have to get out, I will say that you're here um, and you're going to be traveling um, in South America. So that's why you don't have a ticket out. OK, but of course, there you can um, you can get a lot of questions. OK, if you don't get the other ticket, but it shouldn't be be a problem. But if you, for example, have tickets to or have planned uh, to travel to Peru, for example, or Argentina, you can say that you're planning to go out um, in that date, but you don't have the tickets yet. If you have, if you want to travel through Chile, would you recommend to buy a car and sell it again after this day? To buy a car, it would be super expensive you could rent a car, uh, but it will depend on what kind of trips you would like to know. I mean, you would like to do. Um, because I've heard of uh, a lot of students that rent a car and they go to the south of Chile and that's it. And then they rent another one to go to San Pedro in the north for example, but I will say it will be impossible for you to buy a car and to sell it because it's really, really expensive. Um, um, do you hear me? Because yes. I, <clears throat> this was my question uh -huh. because uh, it's actually about having a car for the whole time, not only like for for like some um, um, for some couple of days or weeks. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, I, w I just wanted to know if it's easy to sell a car again in Chile or if it takes a longer time? It takes, it will depend on the kind of car, but because of um, all the high prices we are having, you can buy a small car for like 8 million of pesos. It's really expensive and probably you won't be able to buy it because you are an international mm -hmm. or a foreigner actually. And it will be yeah. even harder to sell it. So I would okay. recommend uh, just to rent a car if you want to travel by car or to plan uh, a trip on a different uh, way. But I would say it's not a good idea. I, I, I understood okay. that it was for the semester. But if it's just to, to travel, I will recommend mm -hmm. just to rent a car for a specific uh, trip. Okay? okay. Thank you very much. Oh, welcome. Aparte de los exámenes de diciembre, ¿cuándo son los exámenes parciales? Eso depende de cada clase. The professors, uh, los profesores van a dar la información o la planificación del curso um, al principio de cada clase. Okay, so the, the classes, the, pardon, the uh, test or quizzes, uh, all that uh, kind of controls uh, during the semester will be informed for, uh, by every professor. So we only know the period of exams is by the end of uh, November and middle of December, but the other uh, dates, the other calendar, it will depend on every professor. 
sabe si hay vacunas que hay que hacer o que están recomendadas para llegar a Chile? No, ninguna vacuna es requerida. You don't need any kind of vaccines. Not even the COVID one is required now. But it's not like you're going to, um, to Brazil that you need the yellow fever vaccine. No, for Chile, to enter Chile, it's not necessary to get any vaccine. Ya, ningún tipo de vacuna es necesaria para entrar a Chile. Ya, libre, vale, entonces hacemos la inscripción, pero no hay que pagar. No, si eres un exchange student, no, todo eso se mantiene eh, con tu universidad de origen. Ya, con nosotros solo se hace el proceso de inscripción de, de cursos. Eh, Eva, aparte de la semana del break de octubre, ¿hay otro día de fiesta como el Día Internacional de Chile? Sí. Eh, no recuerdo y tal vez no lo leí en el calendario, pero eh, tal vez lo, lo pasé por alto. Sí, es el lunes eh, 18 y 19 de septiembre. Esas son nuestras fiestas de independencia. Ok, so we will have uh, Monday and Tuesday, September 18 and 19, are our, our our independence uh, days. So those are those days are off. Um, so that will be a, a short week for you with classes from Monday, I mean, Wednesday through Friday. If you're planning to travel, I would recommend to try to spend this holiday in Chile. We have a lot of activities, a lot of typical food, um, So if you, if you can stay here, try to spend these uh, holidays here or traveling in different uh, cities, but in Chile, it will be a good experience. So I would recommend to, to try to, to stay in Chile for that. Ya, así que traten de pasar nuestras fiestas de independencia 18 y 19 de septiembre en Chile o viajando, pero por Chile, ya, para que de verdad pueden disfrutar esta experiencia, eh, van a comer mucha comida, eh, van a poder bailar, para, van a poder disfrutar de nuestras tradiciones típicas. Yeah? So try to stay in Chile for those uh, celebrations. Um, and I think we don't have another... Yeah, I think in August we will have another day off, uh, a religious holiday, but I will have to... Um, check because sometimes when we have a holiday in the middle of the week, um, the, uh, the government decide to move it to the uh, Monday before, and that uh, so we can have an extra um, a long weekend. So I will have to check that, and we will have to I can share an updated um, academic calendar considering all the the holidays. And during the break week, for example, that's, that's an example, actually. We have Columbus Day on October 12th, right? But the government decided to move it to Monday, October 9th. That's why the university decided to use that holiday to start the break, break week. Ya, yeah? entonces, pronto les voy a poder mandar un calendario actualizado que considere todos nuestros feriados, nuestros días festivos. Um, porque el gobierno muchas veces cuando hay un día libre, un día feriado que cae un día miércoles o martes, decide moverlo, cambiar, el, aunque no sea el mismo número del día, cambiarlo al día lunes, de esa manera podemos tener un fin de semana más largo. ¿ya? Entonces voy a poder eh, darles un calendario con esa información actualizada. Eh, ¿Cómo hacemos para nuestra tarjeta de teléfono? Quiero saber si vale la pena comprar una... Localmente no se me hace si es caro. No, las tarjetas de teléfono no son, no son caras, pero obviamente tu teléfono tiene que estar liberado para poder usar una tarjeta de otro país. ¿ya? Muchas veces sí, cuando el teléfono no está liberado, los estudiantes deciden comprar un teléfono muy básico eh, para poder hacer llamadas o usar eh, datos locales. ¿Ya? So it's not uh, expensive. You can buy uh, a SIM card, a Chilean SIM card, but of course the phone must be um, unlocked so you can change the, the cards. Yeah, but sometimes as students decide to buy a really cheap um, phone, to use it just to local calls and sometimes WhatsApp. Yeah, so that's a chance. 
Um, I don't know if you have more questions, but that was the idea for this meeting, just to show you a little bit uh, of what we will have to offer uh, next semester and to solve any any doubt, any question you may have. Um, as I was saying before, I'm gonna ask you or ask how many of you will um, use the permiso transitorio to enter Chile and how many of you applied or are applying for the visa. Uh, I heard that um, at least two students already got their visas uh, in a two month uh, period. So um, hopefully many of you that have applied for the visa can get it on time, yeah? Así que bueno, esta era la idea de esta reunión, poder eh, darles información y responder preguntas. Así que si tienen eh, alguna otra duda, me la pueden mencionar ahora. Les voy a mandar un mail luego eh, para preguntar también cuántos de ustedes van a entrar con el permiso transitorio y cuántos han solicitado o están en proceso de solicitar la visa. Ya, afortunadamente el periodo está siendo un poco más reducido. Ya hemos tenido al menos dos estudiantes que han recibido tu visa en un periodo de dos meses, así que quiero, eh, tengo fe de que puedan mucho más recibir la visa eh, a tiempo los que ya la han solicitado, ¿ya? Así que, no sé, do you have any other question? We will have the other meeting on, on July 5th, so you can, um, I, I'm sure you will have a lot of questions there because we're going to talk about academics. But that's the, the idea, to give you this space to, to talk and to, to answer your questions. Ya, así que, si no tienen más preguntas, tenemos la próxima reunión el 5 de julio. Ahí podemos, eh, seguramente van a tener muchas preguntas porque vamos a hablar de lo académico. Pero eh, esta era la idea, tener este espacio, espacio para conversar y responder sus preguntas. De todas maneras, vamos a seguir en constante comunicación. Eh, con algunos correos más en los próximos días. Así que eso sería todo entonces y nos mantenemos en contacto. Así que muchas gracias a todos. Espero que no haya sido difícil entender mi español. He tratado de hablar más lento para que puedan eh, escucharme sin eh, generar estrés. Así que muchas gracias a todos y nos vemos pronto. Chao, chao. Gracias, Carlos. De nada, gracias. chao. Gracias.